Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, well, I don't know if you guys can see this pile of carnage laying out in front of us. But that last video, we finished ripping this little H73 all the way apart. This is the oil that came out of it. And I thought I would share it with you. We've got three milliliters is all that wanted to stay inside of there. It spit the rest out. But Now, mind you, this has only got less than five minutes of runtime on it. Let's look and see how... Yeah, this is... Three minutes and can you guys pick up all them sparkles in there? I mean, it's just... Just gritty. I mean, it's... I don't know. I usually try not to talk bad about these little engines, but but this one here must have been made on, you know, a Friday before a week off or whatever. It's just not, there's so much going on with it. You know, we had missing bolts that go in here to bolt the crankcase together. And yeah, I don't know. It's just, it seems like a whole lot was overlooked on this one. But... Well, we've got everything degreased, cleaned back out, and we surfaced this all the way around. We surfaced our crankcase, and when I mean surfaced, we took a piece of 1500 grit wet and dry sandpaper and laid it on a machine surface, sprayed some WD-40 on it, and just made a figure eight. And we took all the high spots out. It took a little while, but we got there. So at least now we know that, you know, this surface here is flat with one another. And when it came to, well, I can show you on this one. You see where the wear is? Probably right. Oh, come on. Right here. And right here. There's no oil getting through this. So, uh, I don't know. It just seems like an oversight because they've got ball bearings on the camshaft, which spins half as fast as the crank. And the crank is just steel on brass. So, not a good idea of not having lubrication. But, you see right where the wear is? We drilled holes in there. So we can oil it from the top side now, at least, and give it a fighting chance at life. Um, well, let's bring this base back over here. And, uh, well, before we put that, I guess we don't need this thing yet. We'll get him out of the way. We've got our base, our crankcase base, and uh, crankcase top, but we need to put a crank in here too. So, well, let's get the crank put in there. We're going to use some of that, uh, this anaerobic gasket sealant made by Permatex. We're going to put that around this edge, just a, just enough for a coating. And uh, we're going to bolt that together, drop our crank in, and then bolt it together. So, hang on a second, guys. All right, well, can you guys see the, the color on here? That's that anaerobic gasket sealant. And we don't want to start this guy up dry. So we'll take a little bit of assembly lube. We'll put it down here on our main journals. We're going to do the same thing with the top side. Just a little bit. We don't need a whole lot. Because we are going to be oiling this once we get it reassembled. If you guys already own one of these, um, well, you're probably watching this after it's too late. Because if you didn't put oil in it, well, it's it's done. But if you're thinking about buying one, I would highly suggest don't follow the instructions. Because, well, hell, we know that ain't right. So, all right. Set our crank back in our bottom half. Get in there. Put our 
top cover back on. Of course, I've got grease and assembly lube all over my fingers. So, okay. Well, we'll get our, well, the only bolts they put in here to hold it together. We'll get them started back in and hold it. And then uh, we're going to flip it back over. We're going to put bolts back in the bottom end where they should have put them. So let me get the other side tight. We'll flip it over and do the same thing. All right. Well, we got our base put back underneath of our crank and our top cover. And by surfacing, you know, our lower crankcase and our upper crankcase, just that little bit took the slop out of that crank. So... I don't know it wasn't it wasn't terrible bad but guys it was gonna get that way so we'll get these four screws put in here we're gonna mount it back to our base and we're gonna start building our top end so hang in there all right I don't know if you all show up but we got four more screws in there that it never came with so let's get this guy set back down here on his house there all right well let me get this bolted back together and then we're gonna get after the top end hopefully we can reach the flywheel it was a lot easier getting these getting this apart when it was just the bottom half bolted too because we took it apart from the top half and we're gonna get our cylinder and everything address our slop in our wrist pin and get the top end put back together all right well, we've got it mounted back down to our base. Before we put our piston on, let's look and see, since we can you know, have good access and look, what our oil levels should be. Because we know that we're going to need oil splashing around in here. I mean, everybody knows you can't run a gas engine with no oil. So we're just going to keep putting oil down in here. Let's see where we start at on this. There's 15 milliliters in here. So let's put oil in here until we are at the proper level. That way you guys can know if you already have one or if you're thinking of buying one. So right there, we're just now touching the bottom of our crankshaft. And we are at 10 milliliters, so 5 milliliters of oil. If you guys have one or you're going to buy one, at least put some oil in it. Because if we wouldn't have put oil in it, this thing wouldn't have ran as long as it did. Which, well, in all honesty, wasn't that impressive when it did run. So, okay, that said, let me get to some of this anaerobic sealant. We'll put it here and here. We'll block up our crankcase. Then we're going to start working on our piston and our reciprocating assembly. Okay, well, we got a nice film of that anaerobic material. We'll get this side put on, and uh, I'll do the other side. I mean, there's not a whole lot to see here. I mean, it's small. My hand's in your way. You guys have seen the back of my hand here enough. So let me get this guy put on. We'll do the other side, and then we're going to start on our top end. We got both of our plates on. We need to set our cylinder. Before we set our cylinder, we better put our piston back in there, right? So what we came up with, this is going to be another uh, trial by focus, but let's see these little guys here. Those are pieces of a silicone rubber O-ring. We're going to put those on either side of our wrist pin here so it can't migrate and just chew the tar out of our cylinder. So this might be an exercise in stupidity trying to get this in there, but we're going to give it our best shot. And well, it doesn't have much time on it, but it's not going to get any easier than it is right now. Let's put a new piston ring on here while we're at it. They sent plenty of them. 
send a whole pile of piston rings, but don't put bolts in or screws. That's a good thought. I guess it kind of makes a guy wonder if they sell these engines just so when we get them, we tear them apart and tell them what they need to keep going with. It's cheaper than research and development and they make a profit. Something to think about. Piston back in there. Let's uh let's put a little bit of this anaerobic sealant around the base. Alright, before we slide our cylinder back over our piston, we're gonna put a little bit of assembly grease right here on our wrist pin just to help hold these little rubber plugs. There, those are in there. That's a better feeling. At least we know that we, well, hell, we made an effort. Put a little bit of oil down here in our cylinder. Just to lubricate it when we go to slide it back down. We don't want to tear that O-ring. And we're in business. There. Alright. Well, let me get that bolted down, guys. And then uh, we'll probably just call this a video. We still got to do our timing. We got to address our water leak issue. And uh, it looks like that head gasket is what was leaking. But we'll figure it out in the next one. Hey guys, I appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching, sharing, subscribing. Uh, leave me a like. Drop me a comment under there if there's something you guys wanted to say or something you were thinking about. But we'll be back and uh, we'll get the rest of this thing buttoned up in the next one or hopefully it's not too i want to hear it run and we'll decide whether we're going to keep it or this thing might be better off melted down and turn into something useful so thanks guys we'll see you in the next one